<laughs> what can I say, guys? Hot on the heels of my last video, uh, which I only posted a few days ago, I'd reported that the HasLab Unicron was already starting to ship to Chinese retailers. So I speculated on the idea that we could possibly be receiving these soon, possibly, you know, in the next month or two. Well, lo and behold, earlier today, I received an email from Hasbro Pulse. And let's have a quick look at this, guys. I think it's very exciting news, and it's about freaking time. So Hasbro Pulse sent an email saying, Attention, HasLab Unicron Backer. HasLab Unicron Insider. We are wrapping up the final production and packaging on your HasLab War for Cybertron Unicron. Uh, you know how I feel about that packaging. And we'll begin shipping to you in late March. Holy cow, guys. We are in February. Late March. That is incredibly exciting news. Now, we know from past experience that HasLab's and even Hasbro Pulse and, and the, the whole Hasbro um, business model, sometimes they're on time, sometimes they're not. So saying late March, it might be early early April. So I'm going to give them the benefit, the benefit of the doubt in this case. I'm going to say, oh my gosh, some of us might actually be receiving this in late March. That is incredible. So let's continue. The packaging and shipping process is a multi-person undertaking. And of course, we want to ensure that the Lord of Chaos arrives to you undamaged. Yeah, I suppose that's what that um, HasLab, update, um, HasLab Unicron update number four was all about. That was not something that I needed to see. I'm so glad for this uh, update number five. So let's continue. Since you placed your HasLab order back in two, 2019, holy cow, guys, it's literally been over a year. Um, or, yeah, it's just crazy, 2019, but we do know that 2020 was, what a crapshoot. So, let's continue. And and 2020 was, well, a long year. We need to confirm the address on file. To do so, please log into your Hasbro Pulse account, navigate to your orders, and locate the HasLab War for Cybertron Yukon order. When in the order, that's weird, when in the order, please confirm the address on file is valid. Uh, if you need to upgrade to your, update your shipping information, please contact us. Yeah, that's a pretty standard flare. Um, uh, Super 7 did the same thing with uh, Snake Mountain, so I'm not surprised about that. So it says here, please note your signature is required for delivery, so make sure you're at home when the, on the day of delivery to accept. This is excellent. There's been a lot of speculation and a lot of concern that since, they're shipping, since the shipping box is actually branded and... Uh, in my, a, a lot of people know I don't consider it very good branding, but it is branded, so people will, you know, porch pirates, a lot of theft may may, may be uh, possible. No. Right now, what they're saying is that uh, you have to be home when, um, when the delivery is made. I suppose if you're not home, they're going to ask you to pick it up from a registered depot, which is very good. Uh, mind you, and I will say this, if you are going to go pick up <laughs> your Unicron from... Uh, somewhere which is not uh, your house, I would imagine you need a, um, a larger vehicle, something that actually can actually, like, you know, I hope you have a big trunk, a uh, hatchback perhaps, because I, I do imagine this thing will not fit into your, uh, you know, sedan uh, very easily. This is going to be something which is very, very, very large. So, yeah, you have to put that into consideration. And here we go with the final part of this email which really i'm not sure if it excites me as much but uh, it is interesting i will give it that we are so excited for you to receive your very own lord of chaos and now for the good stuff so it's not immediately <laughs> apparent that this is a, a video or anything but it is a link out uh to go behind the scenes of the manufacturing process for the mighty unicron bring on the chaos so if you click on this link it actually brings you over to this War for Cybertron Unicron update number five. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below for those who do not have this announcement and, um, you know, so that you can watch the, um, the video process yourself. So bring the chaos together. Hey, Transformers fan, here is your chance to go behind the scenes of the manufacturing process for the Mighty Unicron. See everything from the individual plastics, pieces that are made, painted, assembled, all the way to how he's packaged in the box. Prepare, prepare yourself for the Chaos Bringer is coming soon. So, so I let you guys uh, watch this for yourselves. I do want to touch on a few things, though, because I did notice something watching uh, this 
production process video that kind of caught my attention and I did want to talk a little bit about it because I, the, I do have a few concerns. So let's let's take a quick look at the production process. So injection molding. Yep, it shows a lot of the processes that are made. I'm just going to pause here because I don't want to show everything. You guys can watch this for yourselves. So it is interesting. You know, they show how the mold itself uh, is injected to the plastic, and and what comes out is the final the final process here. We can see all the pieces which are in clear plastic, so they're either they're painted later. Uh, actually, I think these are the stands, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So Unicron comes with a few extra accessories like um, uh, the Autobot shuttle and uh, I believe a really tiny Galvatron and a really tiny uh, Rodimus Prime, or it could be Hot Rod now that I think about it. So I believe these are actually the, the clear stands that, uh, that they've manufactured here. So we're just going to go forward. There's another printed piece. Looks like one of Unicron's uh, wings. Uh, they talk about the spray process. You know, if we go back here, as you can see, the um, Unicron's faceplate here. It's of an injected molded plastic, which, which is already colored. And to get the, the, the overall yellow appearance of the top of the crown, they actually have to spray paint that using um, you know masks and things like things of that nature so then it comes out looking more like that so that's the final the final piece right there looking good yeah so it shows you uh, the whole production process from start to finish little bits of touch up here really great stuff uh, a little bit over spray under spray so yeah you get to see how the metallic pieces are are painted the stations that are used yeah the, the overall processes that happen in china then they talk about touch-up processes which of course as i said earlier you know if the oh if there's a lot of underspray they have to actually fix that uh, wow by hand yeah uh tempo process i see what it is the really tiny fine stamping before tempo it's really really clear plastic after tempo there's a it basically has a transparent um paint on top so these, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, are actually Unicron's eyes, uh, which don't light up. So that's an interesting concept there. But I think the reason they did this is because apparently his eyes can move left and right. Uh, the assembly process. So now they actually go through uh, the pinning, right? Uh, how things are actually put together for the transfer, uh, you know, to help with the transformations. Yeah, this is a great informative video. Um, it is fascinating, I, I have to say. And this is definitely... A video which I an update which I'm much more um, appreciative instead of like you know showing me shake tests and and transporting tests that was kind of a uh, that was not a hit there was definitely a miss you know I didn't I did not um, see the point of having a shake test this is definitely much more interesting you know one of those how it's made videos here in Canada the really amazing uh, you know just the, the whole manufacturing process from start to finish this is great um, a rare behind-the-scenes look, you know, at the at, at a Chinese factory, you know, how things are actually put together, and you know, it, it really is fascinating. You actually see some of the parts that uh, that make up Unicron and how he actually is put together. I'm actually uh, quite amazed they even allowed this to happen. I mean, you know, these are not trademark secrets, but I mean, you know, these are these are, this is a um, something which traditionally you're not supposed to see, which you know, it's it's, it's fascinating. Um, so packaging process, okay, we do know about this, but there is something here which I do want to highlight, which caught me off guard and actually is concerning me slightly. Wow, look at all these, look at all, look at all this. This, uh, what an industry this is, my goodness. And of course, everyone is adhering to, um, you know, social distancing standards. They are, they are uh, working as closely as possible, but they are all, you know, protecting themselves. Uh, we have, uh, we have privacy concerns here which is interesting uh everything's being shipped they're they're assembling it so that they actually get into the into the okay here uh so basically uh let's finish what i'm saying yep they're assembling anything so everything can be actually put into the box but as we're scrubbing through this okay and this is what's really important as we're scrubbing through this i've noticed something which is kind of shocking me and i'm not not too happy about what i saw so right here, they're assembling and everything, and this is supposed to, this, uh, apparently, this is the assembly process to get him into the packaging, the box itself, so that he can be shipped. Look carefully at what happens here after they finish assembling anything. Right here. Okay. Do we see that? Did we see that? Let's go back. 
Guys, this is a problem. This is a problem, in my opinion. What's going on here? If this is the shipping and assembling process, um, I think we have a problem, Houston. Either this was not painted. I'm hoping that this is not a final product that's being prepared for shipping. I'm hoping that this is a test fit. That's what I'm hoping for. Because this ring here, we have a problem. Someone either forgot to spray this section of the maw because we have gray peeking out at the sides here. That's not that's not what it's supposed to happen. That is not the way it's supposed to look. Let's let's just um, pause that for a second. And I believe if we go to here, yeah, it's supposed to be completely completely yellow or slightly orange, right? The entire section here. What we see here uh, clearly is gray on the maw. That is not good. If I have gray on my maw for the Unicron planet, I think I'm going to lose it a little bit because this is what I was sold. Okay? This is what I was sold. And I hope to God <laughs> that this is not what shows up on my door because. Has Hasbro will be the first to hear about it. This is this is not good. I'm hoping that this is a test. <laughs> I'm really hoping that this is a test because that that's freaking me out a little bit. That's not the way I'm expecting this figure to to show up my door. Anyway, all speculations aside, this is uh, a very cool update. I'm very happy with this. There it is again. I'm hoping this is just a test fit because they're actually putting it on the pedestal. So that that actually. I'm 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 hoping, and I, I I really and you know what there, there seem to be some details missing here. Uh, let's let's just take a look here. Yeah, there are a few. It looks like it's a few details are sort of missing. Um, it's a little bit bluer than I was expecting. And now that now that I'm looking at it, but I wonder if those are just. Um, well, you know what, the darker blue doesn't really bother me, which is actually which is actually kind of cool, but. Maybe they oversaturated it slightly. But yeah, this is concerning me. However, because I see them trying to put it on the stand, I'm wondering if this is just a test fit for one of the actual um, one of the actual uh, pieces. Uh, what's really scaring me, though, is that I see that these ones are actually in plastics, meaning that this is the final shipment uh, to go out. So let's find out if we can actually see... Maybe if we can see a maw in one of the... No, that's scaring me. That's scaring me a lot. Because they're actually packaging this thing up. Yeah, that's scaring. That's scaring me a lot. Um, I don't know what to think about that. This is um, that's a concern. That is a big concern, and I think a lot of people are going to be uh, are going to be questioning why that is. Um, why are they putting it in the plastic right now? I that I think is a major problem. I think we're going to have to uh, quickly. Uh, get everybody on board with this and, and try to tell, uh, you know, alert Hasbro as quickly as possible that, that, that that's that's an issue. If that's actually a real thing, that is a major issue. Okay. Anyway, uh, I still think this is this was uh, overall, I think this was a really good announcement. It's definitely better than the, the last announcement, which was basically a bunch of shake tests and delivery uh, processing, which was a boring as hell. B didn't have anything to do with what I was expecting, and C was more or less a waste of my time. This this um, this announcement is much more uh, compelling. It actually has a lot of information. The process, the overall process of actually building a, a transformer, very impressed with that. So again, I'm very excited for this. Possibly March. Uh, you know, guys. What do you think of this announcement? Are you excited for <laughs> possibly receiving your Unicron as early as late March? But in my expectation, I'm thinking like mid-April, possibly end of April. This is hugely, hugely exciting. I am very excited at this prospect. It's been well over a year now since I backed this project. I'm really, really looking forward to the Lord of Chaos finally making it to my door. This is concerning me a little bit, uh, you know, the overall color, but I'm hoping that it's just an oversight, um, something which is really, uh, after this long, 
you know, it's it, it it is another small tiny tidbit to be concerned about. But again, guys, what do you think? Is this exciting you? Are you hyped and ready for your Unicron to show up? And if you haven't ordered Unicron, what do you guys think? Is this still, you know, do you guys really look at this and say, holy crap, this is really exciting? Or are you literally telling us, wow, you guys wasted your money, this thing's, uh, you know, a uh, shell former, you know, please, I'd love to hear your opinions. What is it you guys think about this announcement, number five, from HasLab, that Unicron is going to be shipped as early as late March? Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please do leave me a like. It really helps me out. If you have any comments or suggestions on anime, cartoons, toys, collectibles, or anything else you'd like me to review, please leave that in the comment section below. And consider subscribing, as it helps YouTube to realize I'm doing a good job and you guys enjoy my work. Well, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Geek Proud.